Pistons, Cade Cunningham. Uh, we knew that was coming. Um, however, uh, I don't think that... Uh, I don't know how good of a pick it is. Um, Cade Cunningham, amazing player. Um, amazing all-around player. Um, but I don't think Detroit is the right spot for him. So, uh, again, I'm going to try and repeat as best I can what I said on Saturday. So, um, basically what I said on Saturday is, um, Kate Cunningham is a, an amazing player, but he won't work for Detroit, in my opinion. And I could be proven wrong with this, but, um... In order to be a great all-around player, you also need good people around you. And um, I'll compare him to Luka in in that way, where it's like um, Luka, uh, Luka in the fi- uh, in the playoffs. I almost said finals. Sorry, Luka in the playoffs, dropping forty to fifty points every single night. Luka, amazing player. Um, one, probably one of the best players in the league right now. But he has nobody to help him out on his team. And you can't uh, put the entire uh, team on your back. And you can't get assist if the person you're passing it to can't make their shots. Um, like, uh, the Dallas got a new coach. And... The, if I can find the picture, I'll show it in video. Um, obviously, people that are watching this live and audio listeners won't see the picture. Uh, but if I can find it when editing, I'll show it. Um, it when Dallas got a new coach, uh, he took like a funny picture for Instagram where he, he said, um, I'm drawing up new plays. And he took the whiteboard that has the court on it for drawing up plays and instead of drawing like x's and o's and like actual like plays he just wrote in big giant letters on the whiteboard give luca the ball um and like yes that will work but no it won't work it's like a yes or no situation like yes luca's your best player you want to play through him but at the same time you don't want to play through him on every single play you need a second option. Um, you need other people that you can play through. Um, and you can't just rely on one player for the entire game. And I think C- Cade Cunningham is the same way. Cade Cunningham is an amazing player. But being in Detroit, he's going to have no help. And a lot of his skills will not be uh, maximized or shown. And... Um, it, it's just, he's going to have, I think he's going to have trouble in Detroit because he's going to be trying to get assists, trying to help out his team, and he's going to pass it to a player that just bricks it every single time. Um, and I saw a lot of memes about that, kind of like joking, saying the same thing. Like they said, Cade Cunningham's career is now over before it even started. Um, I don't agree with that, but, like, again, I get what they're saying. And um, uh, I was talking with Fernando when we were reacting to the draft. Uh, Cade Cunningham said, Detroit, I'm all in. And I could see him easily getting traded in, in like, um, anywhere from one to three years. Like, uh, it could either be next year or it can be in two to three years, him getting traded um, even though he said Detroit, I'm all in. Um, so that'll be a, a funny meme to make. Like I was telling Fernando, like, um, I could easily see a thousand memes being made and I'll, I will definitely make it as well. If, um, if, uh, he requests, he requests a trade next year and he's like, uh, it's like Detroit. I'm all in whenever he's drafted, and then he requ- and and then it's a clip of him requesting a trade, and it's like da 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 da. Like, uh, I'm sure a bunch of memes like that will be made. Um, but that's really all I got on Cade Cunningham. Uh, again, great player. I don't think he's gonna work in Detroit.